Today I gonna show you how to make tachometer without using Arduino or any other microcontroller. However, nowadays they are very cheap and you can buy them for less than 10 bucks. But my circuit could be an educational project with some more features. Tachometer is a measuring device that using for measuring the rotation speed of some mechanical parts, such as fan, shaft and some other stuffs. This is my circuit. Let's start from the sensor. This sensor consists of two parts. Infrared transmitter and infrared receiver. The IR LED must be connected to the voltage source through this current limiting resistor. So it starts to emit an infrared light which is not visible for the human eyes. In the normal situation, the output voltage from the IR receiver will be high. But when you put a reflective object in front of the sensor, the infrared reflected back to the sensor and the output voltage drops to zero volt, as you can see here. Now if you replace the reflective object with a small fan, the output voltage from the sensor keep changing between high and low with a certain frequency. This frequency refers to RPS, which is rotate per second. If you multiply this frequency by 60, the result will be RPM, which is rotate per minute. So that's very simple. You just need a sensor, frequency multiplier, and a frequency counter. Since the output signal from the sensor has some noise, so I just use a Schmidt trigger in the output of the sensor. So now as you can see here, the output signal become a nice and clean square wave in the output. However, it just be inverted by acting of the NOT gate of the Schmidt trigger. Now if you feed in this signal that coming from the sensor directly to the frequency counter, the frequency counter reading the RPS as I said before which is rotate per second. But if you need RPM you have to multiply it by 60 before connect it to the frequency counter. To make this video short as possible I don't explain the frequency counter circuitry because I explained it in a previous video. You can find the link of that video below in the description. So let's talk about the frequency multiplier. There are different ways to make a frequency multiplier, such as using PLL, but I used a different way to do that. We have an oscillator that produces a sequer wave with a frequency of 5 kHz. The second triple 5 IC used as a flip-flop. With any single pulses that come from the sensor, the flip-flop switched on the transistor. So the fast pulses that come in from the oscillator injected to the frequency counter. This 24017IC connected together as divided by 60 frequency divider. So when the number of pulses that injected to the frequency counter become exactly 60 pulse, the 4017IC is switched off the flip-flop. So this circuit translates any single pulse to 60 pulse. The frequency of this oscillator is not critical. It could be anything like 5 kHz, 10 kHz or something like that. The result will be the same. I converted this circuit to PCB and make an order from PCBWay.com. After a few months I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. I used this red transparent sheet on the 7 segment display. It makes the number on the display readable. You have to select the function of the circuit by using this for dip switches. For example, I want to measure the RPM, so I have to set the switches as shown here. And finally, as you can see, the circuit working well. I used a commercial tachometer to compare the results. As you can see, the reading number are very close to each other. And I can select RPS meter by using these depth switches. And also counter. By the way, any tachometer comes with a reflective tape. You have to put a small piece on a single blade of your fan. Otherwise, your tachometer cannot read in anything. Let's compare the maximum distance range of my tachometer with a commercial tachometer. My tachometer can read in the fan speed from 1 cm. 
but the commercial tachometer can read in the fan speed from 2 cm. So there are very small differences. You can order this PCB from PCBWay.com, the link in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.